right? There's the Serbian flag. That's the Turkish flag or the Ottoman flag. You can see from the, the weaponry, this would have been to commemorate a battle between Serbia and the Ottoman Empire. Uh, Serbia has a lot of Ottoman influence. You can see it in big things like the architecture. You can see it in small things like the way they drink their coffee, some of the food and the sweets. And actually, I have a connection to this conflict because when the Turks left Serbia, there was an edict from a Hungarian queen empress to repopulate the region. Some of my ancestors came down the Danube to make new homes here. And if these people hadn't met and copulated, I probably wouldn't have been born. So. Straight. The the monument is dedicated to the, the, the fallen, the un, unknown soldiers of yes, World War One. Yes. World War One, Balkan but, Wars also. And buried here are not just the Serbs, but also Austro-Hungarians, uh, Czech Republic, uh, Germans. Germans. This monument uh, shows respect to all people. Doesn't matter from which country they come. It is very also a strong message to, to the future that we have to keep peace. Speaking of combatants, <laughs> you, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna revenge. No open-mindedness. Pure revenge. <laughs> Conflicts are always framed in terms of good guys and bad guys, but depending on where you were born, those sides change. Everybody in these conflicts were, were young men who were trying to do what they felt was right. They died for it. And so as we've sorted things out in history, we can say this cause was more just than that cause. But in the end, those lives mattered. They mattered to their parents. They mattered to their friends. And uh, it's a beautiful thing to, to honor them. Like you, I'm from a similar town in America. A lot of times in life we have a choice between the safe thing or, or the thing we really want, but it's scary and it's dangerous. In my life I always choose to go into the scary, dangerous, but exciting thing. And I think if you lean that way yourselves, you'll have a fantastic life. In our personal lives, and in our society, we have a, and in our towns, we have a narrative, right? This is who I am, this is who we are, this is what the town is about. And that, that narrative determines the quality of your life, your town, your community. So the, the best thing you can do for yourself 
and for your town is to find the right story, an empowering story, a loving story, a story about growth and about a mission, about purpose, and that attracts the right thing. Feels archaic, yeah. you know, like some cool, mysterious archaeological find, like Indiana Jones. You put the stick in, and then the light goes through, and that's where the Ark of yes. the Covenant is. That's where Attila the Hun's buried, right there. But needs a time <laughs> and exactly, exactly time and place. Yeah. <laughs> Indiana Jones and Mel Gibson. You know who is Mel Gibson? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know how to get me, man. You know how to get me. <laughs> Very rare in Orthodox Church, you can see here. That's that's Jesus with the wings? With the wings, yeah. This tree yes. in the in the monastery. Yeah. You walk three times around yeah. it. Make a wish. Make a wish. And that will come from it. Interesting. Because obviously a tree is very druidic, yes. it's very pagan. Yeah, yes, it is. But That's cool. There I'm is glad belief. to see. There is belief, so you can hey. try if you want. <laughs> Let's do it. Obviously, something very pagan about the tree, very dru druidic, like your Christmas tree. And in uh, Eastern tradition, in, in Buddhist traditions, when they have the, the stupas, and people are always walking around those, circumnavigation, it's, uh, it's part of that faith as well. Damacha kaffa, domestic coffee, and rakia brandy go together in Serbia like peanut butter and jelly. And you get offered it all the time, it's standard hospitality. And it, 
Your host would be a little disappointed if you said no because a lot of the Rocky is made in-house and so they have a, a personal connection. They want to see you enjoy it. It's a story that this hospitality comes from the original Slavic religions where they believed that a vagabond or a traveler showing up in the town could be the god testing the degree of kindness that locals would show. And nowadays, the only selfish interest your host has is they want to have that human connection. And, and I do too. Cheers. Cheers, Jivoli. Jivoli. And 20 is almost over. Yeah. It's been a weird year for a lot of people. Yeah. How was it for you? Very strange, really, but I hope we'll be better very soon. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the mood in Serbia now? I think that people are more relaxed. The situation is much better than it was a few months ago. Mm. People are coming back to their normal life. It's yeah. good to have this nature, right? Yeah, to of course. Yeah. let out all the stress to be relaxed there and to enjoy that silence yeah that we need very important especially after all these difficult months for all of us agreed yeah agreed yeah well thanks for sharing this nature with me thank you very much for coming i, I really loved it yeah uh, thank you thank you I, I hope you will come again in Serbia. i will for thank sure. you very much <laughs> I'm sure you are itching to travel in 2021. In Serbia, the Balkans are a place you can travel, but you need the freshest information because everything changed this year. Take a moment to subscribe to this channel because I'm out here on the road getting you that information. Now let's continue on. You.